All right, guys, I wanted to show you kind of a public service. If you have an MSR liquid fuel stove, especially if you have an older one or an older fuel pump, want to make sure you take a look at them and make sure that there's no cracking or leaking. I've got a video that's actually quite a bit older that I had an issue with the stove leaking and with the stove running I was actually leaking liquid fuel which obviously is not a very safe condition to be using the stove in. So I have since upgraded and bought a newer style pump and I know it's been a while. Hopefully there's not a lot of these out there. A lot of the a lot of you guys having the issues. But I do want to kind of show what the issues I was having were and want to show you guys what the newer pump did to kind of fix that and make sure that you guys are, are watching the older pumps if you're using them. So as you can see with this newer pump, they added this ring along the base here. They give you something to grab onto when you tighten it on and off of the bottle. What was happening with the old one is there's nothing really to grab onto. So you, it's pretty natural to grab onto the little on off wheel here and use that for torque when you're tightening down the bottle. Well obviously that's not ideal. This isn't made to take that kind of force. So over time it ended up cracking and the cracks are actually through the plastic enough that it is leaking liquid fuel when it's operating. So with these newer style, one of the things I've been trying to be really careful about is make sure when I am loosening and tightening I'm grabbing down around that knurled section that's designed for tightening and not grabbing up here around the on off or around the connection point for your stove because that's where this one ended up failing and another thing I like about this newer one is it has a brass fitting right here so that makes it hopefully a little more durable you're not going to have an issue with that so once again guys if you have these older MSR fuel pumps now, this one was actually still functioning just fine as far as creating pressure and operating the stove, but that leak was just unacceptable. Not only do you want to conserve fuel when you're out in the backcountry, but you definitely don't want to be losing fuel and having it puddle up underneath the stove while the stove's running. So, something to watch out for with these older pumps. Thanks for watching.